uh, hi Dr. Sakshina here and uh, this is a, a series which we are trying to work it out, trying to empower you and uh, I always uh, can always tell you one thing, uh, this is a triple E program as one of my friend Dr. Sri uh, Kumar was telling in one of the conferences recently concluded and he was telling about the importance of triple E. Uh, what is this triple E? Like uh, most of you must be, um, uh, triple E is educate, empower and execute. We can educate you, we can empower you with the knowledge, but it's the only thing what you need to do, work it out as a patient is execute. Uh, so we'll be, we have been discussing for the past few uh, months now, uh, some uh, content uh, we are talking about some, I was able to uh, kept uh, with some unique things in the sense some inquisitive things which you should always know uh, because as a conventional physicians uh, which uh, we had worked for so long and uh, it uh, now we started uh, uh, gaining for the last uh, a decade or so uh, going into some um, uh, conferences worldwide trying to understand what is this nutrition what is the kind of uh, this one uh, so this this was a being a big uh, apart from whatever we had uh, studied in our medical college uh, getting from uh, the experts what is being told uh, was uh, really uh, having met a uh, few of the experts in the world and uh, yes uh, i would like to empower you uh, with the knowledge of what i we try to and i i'd like to tell you that yes there are simple things which are very very in the sense it it makes is a foundational thing for everyone so whenever when any patient comes to us we talk to them we talk we work with him for the first two weeks that is the base camp he does uh, mind you we are taking mostly all chronic diseases in the sense um, uh, patients coming with neurodegenerative problems patients coming with complications of cancer and uh, complications of diabetes and all uh, patients with cardiovascular disease and all that so but whatever is it the first first five days and uh, even before that if they can always understand what is this uh, um, integrative medicine uh, thing is going to give them <coughs> i can always tell you uh, we try to emphasize you on their things so this particular thing which uh, uh, what made me understand is this uh, there are some important things which are critical in your health uh, kind of uh, this one uh, we got talk about vitamins and I can always talk about one thing which is uh, a, a missing link this is vitamin K2 uh, which is a nutrient for your heart as well as the bone health um, see uh, vitamin K2 uh, is every bit as important as vitamin D uh, we have been told about vitamin D I was talking with some other uh, this one regarding uh, what is this particular thing vitamin D is uh, how it is helpful at the same time i would like to tell you this is uh, vitamin k2 is nearly as important as vitamin d and um, this is um, has been uh, uh, there are a lot of doctors who practiced uh, integrative medicine and uh, uh, the, uh, see uh, there are there are some good um, things which have been uh, in fact uh, dr goodman has authored a book on vitamin k2 the missing link and uh, uh, why uh, see um, according to him he was telling because this guy dr goodman was uh, a cardiologist he was telling that for nearly 20 years he has been putting stents in around and uh, running around day and night and uh, this was uh, at the uh, kind of emergency things we fear so for him, he was like, uh, was a, he says he was like a fireman putting out fire in the house. So uh, sometimes um, every doctor is lucky that you save house from burning down, but uh, sometimes not. So uh, so this doctor, good man, realized that prevention is really the key uh, for us to make the maximum impact. This is the prevention, number one. Uh, so he was always interested in idea that everything we need to be healthy is provided by the Lord above God namely what is there for us to eat so the 80% of the uh, according to Dr. Goodman 80% of the chronic diseases including atherosclerosis 
heart attacks and strokes diabetes and obesity are preventable so uh, he got into thing called integrative medicine and we as uh, uh, he was a chief uh, cardio of cardiology at scripps hospital memorial uh, in the, for many years and uh, then he what he has done is he understood the basics of holistic medicine and uh, that and he tried taking best out of the both one one thing is holistic another one is the conventional form so uh, making a diagnosis prescribing drugs and all that is the basic forefront of conventional thing diagnosis making is a very very easy thing trying to find out the root of root cause of the cause the root cause and trying to work on that it has to be a, we need to work on all this stuff and as a integrative physician trying to work what best suits for the patient i need something uh, which is a more of a prevention kind of part and uh, has to work it out so whatever things we have seen as a radiologist i i must tell you i i had seen a lot of cases which had calcification of the arteries what is this new phenomena because with this with this particular thing we were able to look at something like calcium score ct angiography and we used to tell that okay you have got likely uh, chance of more so this phenomena is quite prevalent i had seen a lot of patients in the sense they have been always telling us that right, there is a calcification of the vessels and in fact they are diabetic also some of them some of them are not diabetic but there is a calcification which is a common problem so we believe that integrative medicine this is one of the simplest thing where your vitamin k2 if it is not properly uh, formed in the body and you get into something like vitamin k2 deficiency you are going into something called arterial calcifications so uh, something like uh, um, this is uh, it is a uh, it's a uh, kind of uh, this one that then we need to we need to have vitamin k2 which facilitates the integration of calcium into your bone matrix if vitamin k2 is see vitamin d takes of calcium to the bone and vitamin k2 is required for integration of that calcium into the bone and if it is not done properly and uh, you have got calcium uh, which is uh, there uh, it doesn't get into the bone and it gets deposited somewhere else somewhere else this is one thing what you are getting mostly is the arterial calcification and there are some things like lot of uh, areas you get kidney stones you have because of magnesium deficiency there are a lot of places where calcium should not accumulate there it starts accumulating so that is a basic premise this is the basic premise of uh, what is this thing called um calcifications so what we have seen over years people having this particular problem vitamin k2 poor diet uh, vitamin k2 poor diet what is this vitamin k2 poor diet normally uh, you have a good microbiome and this good bacteria what you have in your intestinal lining they are making vitamin k2 from your food they uh, their uh, vitamin k2 there uh, there are some other things short chain fatty acids it is being formed by the bacteria which is taken up by the human intestines and it helps so be- because what we have we are not able to properly maintain our microbiome our garden uh, kind of uh, intestinal tract which is normally lined by good bacteria and uh, not by um, fungi as well as bad bacteria now the kind of things are different because of our feeding feeding habits and so many things your microbiome is compromised so most of the people vitamin k2 is low in that particular things and uh, this is one of the reasons uh, we always tell people to go for fermented foods uh, fermented foods which is something like natto uh, which is a very good source of vitamin k2 and uh, we would like to tell people who uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, we we believe in something like uh, coconut kefir you have got yogurts which has got very good uh, vitamin k2 uh, but some of the yogurts uh, what i have seen um, every yogurt doesn't have vitamin k2 so you need to be careful about what you are eating and all that usually the fermented foods has got 
good vitamin K2. So that is the one thing which we always need to supplement when we talk about this, uh, be it a patient who is osteoporotic or heart disease or diabetic, we need to see that your vitamin K2 deficiency is maybe one of the missing links in this particular stuff. So we try to uh, ask uh, people to work on these foods or we try to work on a microbiome and uh, this is one of the things, this cheese, uh, certain cheese has got high levels of vitamin K2, you need to work and the grass fed uh, organic animal products like egg yolks, butter, dairy, they have got good vitamin, uh, vitamin K2. So in the essence what I want to tell is this is one of the uh, big things which are which is happening these days and uh, I certainly would like to recommend not just vitamin K2, white, the vitamin D, magnesium i'd like to put all these things as a uh, this one and try to see the patients who are on antibiotics and all that i'll try to see that their gut bacteria gets uh, replenished and that is the way forward that's what we is this thing called uh, uh, integrative medicine for uh, people having this particular problem which something which is a clueless we know we're not aware what is happening is that uh, you are repeatedly going for uh, stenting and all that, but the main problem lies with the vitamin K2. And I think we, we need to look at this particular thing. Thank you.